Welcome to round five. I like to be on a play. Ooh, 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 ooh. Definitely a keep, but could be a rough one. Um, so the question here is, do you want to make use of the fact that we have... Wait, for some reason I thought I had a Delver in my hand. I don't. So that makes his hand a lot worse. So the question here is, do I want to get a island? A basic island. Wasteland's still going to be good against us, but at least that means we know that we can cast a brainstorm next turn. Yeah, we have it in our deck, might as well use it. Um, definitely getting the vote for the worst card in the deck, and it's not close. I've never liked it. I want to try it again. <laughs> it, it just felt so miserable. Ooh, that's pretty. Elvish Reclaimer, and I don't have red mana. I'm gonna miss my land drop, most likely. So let's just uh, get rid of that like this. Ooh, a wasteland. Um, island attack for one. Just make it guess I go go. <laughs> um, yeah, probably not gonna fire off the brainstorm this turn. Uh, though, if they give me a good wasteland target, I know I'm not gonna have an opportunity to reduce really it to it next turn. Ugh. So this is a giant. So the question is, do I brainstorm in response, or just do I just force with it? I think those are the two options. I think I brainstorm in response. Just hope I somehow get there. All right, that's good to know. I mean, it's no red mana again, but which means I have to force with it. But it's good to know. So I'm gonna put the two bolts on top and definitely just force of will that. Can you imagine just this just being a delver getting in there for damage? Would have been nice. Um we're gonna lead off on the wasteland here. Just in case there's something. Wonder? Plus a storm brainstorm. I don't think it's very likely that they're heavy on spells with uh, Kevin of Souls in their deck. This doesn't have red mana, but it does have a brainstorm. And let's see how big can I make the Nifmegas next turn. If I just brainstorm and Flissa storm it. Uh, if I do that in that turn, I can make it bigger than most of the things they can do, probably. That's worth something. Like if it misses, I just Flissa storm my own spell. Counter the three copies and make this into a 6 7. But it does mean I have to draw these cards. How good is a 6 7 against what I think they're doing? I'd say pretty good. Unless they're white. But they wouldn't put it in giants if they're white. Is this just a bait? Are they just elves? No, why would they put it on the giants? It doesn't even offer the suggestion then. Alright, alright, I'll just try and get good card instead. Maybe it's my issue, or, and, and the, the truth is that you should just go for something like that to make them make us playable, but... Which, which is good. Um, ponder. Delver and red sources. I like Delver and red sources. Does mean that the Delver isn't going to flip, but... Yeah, red sources is good enough. I think like 
we're not seeing any new cards and uh, we have to hope that they don't do anything useful but at least we get to play all the cards with the land so try to put on some pressure I'm really curious about that giant's name library okay I'm gonna hope that's just too late and I can put up enough pressure against them so that's gonna miss my one mana one ones are gonna get in there. <laughs> oh, so they're bond. The bond lands with Euro. That, that's basically then what uh, what the conclusion has to be. I should have known that earlier, I think if I've... Those, those decks just don't play that many giants. So I didn't know that they had Cavern. Or, oh it's there of course, the, the bigger version with also Primeval Titan. So it's the Primetime Euro Bond Cavern list, or just... Yeah, I don't think there's a green-white one. Is there? Maybe there is. Euro then, no, try it. Okay, that fixes their mana. Um, yeah, that doesn't get bolted. Well, at least this one can get in there. Man, this is doing work again. And I'm gonna keep this land in my hand. Um, yeah, they can do their thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's going to be an issue. I still think I have to lightning bolt it since that means uh, they get to block my witch. I'm just going to throw away a bunch of 1-1s now into the attack. And just trade a Delver for 2 damage. Swords on a witch. At least it gets in for another attack. <laughs> sort of. And yeah, the tree damage there might be might be getting very important. All right, uh, don't take another bolt. Ooh, my delvers are having a rough time today. Um, so the question is here: Do I want to throw away to the uh, a delver for two damage now? Now I don't think I do. I'm just gonna hope I don't. They somehow don't have the giant. Um, that went from looking quite good to just getting crushed by this card being bad, this card not doing its job, and that card being bigger than Bolt. It's gonna be rough, especially with the library, just, just gonna find what they need. At least it's not a uh, not a primeval titan. That's good. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough pressure this game. Maybe if, if I find a borer for that, I can get something going, but... Yeah, and 
now they're gonna get their euro back. They still have the library going. Let's see if we can still find a couple of more pieces of information about their deck. They might just not have Primeval Titan, though I doubt it. Or maybe just one or two. That's what we call an Euro. The most egregious card still in Legacy. Yeah, I'm not, not gonna waste uh, our time time anymore. I'm not reading that anyway. Um, so submerge, Carcass, I think Carcass, yeah. Todd sees this member. Mm, yeah, push is probably good enough since it hits their tree drops. You know what? I think the fist storms are bad again, even though they have sort of blow shares. But I just don't think that's where I want to be. And I think those are just bad. Um, I might want to spell bomb to interact a bit with their uh, their one mana three fours, but also to reduce the impact of the rubber depth excavator. Um, other than that, is there something that fist storm is better at against since and better at since it still does trade with sort of blow shares? Um, I guess the bolts are just not good, so I could do it like that. Keep two in just to kill their one drops if needed. I have a bunch of other stuff that also interacts with that. I think having the additional land in Carcass is good since it bounces arrow. At least it can get like an angler true if needed. So I think it's worth having that. This can't be a great matchup for me. Um, oof. Yeah, I think I'll keep it, but I'm, I'm definitely not happy with it. Then looking to six something. Maybe there's a chance. Um. Oh, I guess that, that wasn't good. I think I should have fetched to a non-basic there, since uh, now I can't bolt and crack the spell bomb. And now I'm likely just wanting to crack the spell bomb randomly, just because I need cards, need to find threats. Okay, at least I don't have to lighting. Yeah, I'm just gonna crack it. Hope to find a Delver or something. I mean, this is not why you why you have it in deck, of course, but I think it's better here than to keep it in my hand. Hmm, mm -hmm. can't cast that, but at least it's something I can do. Hope that they let them stumble. I hope they have like a ton of tree drops in their hand that I get the day start seeds and everything, and that I can find pressure. Grove, all right. Um. So I play land first and I can hard cast days and, uh, and, and soft cast days like on a Veil of Summer. Alright, um, so they're all interaction. They've got a news which I'm just gonna let them have. I'm gonna touch these sorts of blow shares. It's good to know that they have a tabernacle in their hand. Just four color lands then. Try. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna ramp up to force of will now. Um, them not having anything to do, making my days is useless. It's kind of rough. Um, I'll just wasteland this now. I 
The reason I'm doing that is just because I want to. I hope I can use my dazes for something. I was thinking I can, like, maybe I can double days to ooze, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Hmm. This is what I would call not an ideal draw. I always. <laughs> the games where you don't find cantrips, you certainly are reminded how it feels not to play a blue deck. <laughs> you just have no agency about anything. And uh, yeah, definitely want to brainstorm here. Hmm. Dismember Angler Bunker Sure. So the bone crusher is a bit weird against the uh, ooze since it can easily outgrow it, but what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna keep one of the dangers to pitch to a force, I think, and then just get rid of the land. Yeah, try to convert it like that. Um, so if I crack two of these, I can play the angler, but then I only have one mana up, I think that's fine. That does mean I don't have the... Stomp up, but I don't think it's worth cracking even more fetches since I want to make a next brainstorm also castable. Now we'll protect this from source explosions, I think, if they have it. Uh, maybe not, I do have Bone Crusher. Four mana? Zenith for three. Uh, this lets them replay some different creatures, I think, but it's most likely that it's boltable or dismemberable or stompable. <laughs> yeah, because I have to dismember, I'm gonna let this resolve. From probably be an excavator. Oh, a clotis. Um, that's gonna be worse for me, but I can raise that. It's not that bad. I was thinking that I was going to play the Bone Crusher this, this turn, just uh, as pressure, but now I'm uh, going to play the Witch, I think. Um, let's see, the Witch dies to Punishing Fire, but I can... Like, both them... And they take 3 from the witch going to 11. And then I have. I can put them to 1. Uh, if I play a spell in response to it dying, I think that's good enough. Right, since it puts them to 11. And then 6 from the Germic Anchor plus the token. Push them to five, which is enough for this. Ah, uh, they gain two life, of course. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe that was bad. Oh, well, that was. There's the ooze. Just see more, yeah. Hmm. I'm definitely just gonna stomp that since it can block the uh, the five five. Um, so the question is if I foe that, I'm gonna have four creatures, I'm gonna kill one of them, I'm gonna have three creatures, um, I pay for three, I attack them for nine, but that doesn't mean I can stop any of their other shit anymore, there's three cards in hand. Which I don't know any of. I do really want to put pressure on them though. Well, I need to put pressure on them, I think. And now I can still stomp this, else I have to bolt this as well, or dismember it. But Try and spend my mana here. Yeah. 
Just gonna pay it all and try to get them in there. Both their face with this mana. They really should have wasteland it in turn. Oh, that was a really good draw. The question is do I just fire that off on the tabernacle or do I check if they have something even more dangerous? So there are three. Um yeah, I'm just going to run this out and not activate it. And if they don't have any other good targets, I'll uh, take out the Tabernacle. But uh, I think this will be good enough. But since not all combinations of three cards, but most combinations of three cards here, I uh, get them. Right, 1-1. One, one. Um, So they brought in Ooze. I like having some removal, but maybe not all of it. Um, I do want all of these, for sure. Mm, didn't see much graveyard interaction from that. Uh, not more than game one. But, so I could see just cutting something for another bolt or two, now that I'm on the draw. And then a bit more likely that they get to resolve some early creatures that I want to kill. On the other hand, they did see that I had a bunch of removal still in my deck, so they might not go too happy on that. Oh, I still have a flush storm in my deck for some reason, so definitely gonna put one bolt in there. And bolt fourth bolt versus Nile spell won't be like the question. I think I do like that. Seeing that they had the ooze and they had uh, earlier also the excavator. Um, I'll keep it. It's uh, rough that we don't have interaction, but uh, gotta be able to put on pressure as well. Ooh, the fabled triome mana base. Um, do I want to get the wastelanded? Or do I think it's bad enough? I think it's worth getting wastelanded here just to have a describability with Delver on the next turn and um, still have access to black. Alright. Definitely gonna reveal the brainstorm. I'm very happy that I kept my fetch around. Um, let's see first what happens with my Delver. If it's gonna get uh, fired or not. It did not. Um, yeah, I definitely want to fire off this brainstorm. Hope to find a wasteland or something. This is decent. I'm gonna get rid of one of the witches for sure. And I think I'll put a carcass on top and just see if I want it or not. I could also do the same with the angler since I'm pretty far away from that. I was thinking about putting a bolt on top, but I don't think that that's, that's correct since I can spend my mana on bolt if I need to. And the question is, do I want a third land? I think I do. Angler versus Witch versus one of the blue cards. So this is one card, two, three, four. So I will be able to spend, play Angler next turn. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put both witches there and just see if I can uh, get to draw them or not. But, or if I want to draw them or not, I can see that by the end of the turn. So, one, two. Yeah, like if they don't do a lot here, I don't get to trade my uh, trade off my uh, cards, and I'm not gonna be able to play Angler this turn. So then I want the witch for sure. Row. Um, I think I'm gonna want it to taste that, do I? Um, that, that means I don't get to play the witch. So it's one, two, three. Then I have only four, five. So if I bolt them, that's six. That's just not good enough. 
I'm gonna let them have it. I think and just draw the witch. I don't know, it's a bit rough. I was hoping I could really pressure them, but Uro is just such a stomp in the face for these Delver decks. Right. At least they can cast Uro with the Flexstones and the Carpas. I need to get something going, so I will, uh, and they already made a land drop, so I will force a will here. Ooh, Pyroblast. That's rough. Um, let's see. Ooh, Dulcese is good, but... Uh, I want to play the Angler this turn. So we're going to take 4 to 9. I'm not going to be able to play Witch, and I don't think the game is going to go that long. And then I'll put the Tonsies on top. I'm, I'm so soft to whatever they're doing if I do this. At least I have to deal with multiple of my things. If they don't have a table neck, it could be very good for me. The other option is to try and ponder for land, which helps. I get two looks at land, and that's very good if they have table neck. But, uh. Okay, let's first see if you get the attack in. And if they plow, at least it's forced to use it now instead of uh, on the Grimmick Angler. I'm just gonna try and close out the game. This is the. I hope you just don't have anything. <laughs> Play. It's just not where you want to be, but hey, sometimes it's where you are. I hope they, they top deck elves now. Double green, white, Corsa. All right, all right. They second bonus that, and they have ooze on top, which doesn't really have food. Uh, they do have a land drop. That's sad for me. Now they have a plow on top. That's an issue. All right, this is starting to look bad for me. So bounce that, don't seize them. Just try and get in there. Then this gets plowed. They're at four. So they have to stop the pest or get bolted out. Yeah, I think that's just my best play here, but it's not great. Especially since they do have Euro mana. Prime time try it. So, that's right, yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. But that means they just do this, so they probably can do that. And, and they can top deck a Swords Blow Shares. So, if they want to cast Swords Blow Shares, which they probably have to, they can't play two spells, but they do get to play. Either Corsair or try it in addition. Which means they have a blocker for my pest, which means they get another turn, which means they probably die. Uh, neither of these are legendary. Okay. I've got to get rid of the Corsa, I think, since I can gain life. Get my 6 damage in. And 
and hope I somehow get there. I basically have one turn since after they have to stabilize a turn and then they get to prime time me. So I need like a daze or something to help with that. Yeah. It works. Yeah, that wasn't the hand I wanted to see. Um, which. So they have. If they don't, if I don't do anything, they need to get prime time, and if they play out prime prime time, and doesn't have reach right. No trample. If they play out prime time and don't draw a land, um, they're gonna die to Brazen Borrower. The other option is I attack here, I bolt the dry Darber, ever to dry it, and just die to prime time. I think my best option here is to just pass the turn. I hope they don't top deck anything, then the Brazen Borrower can get in there and try to be lethal together with the bolt. Uh, that of course means they have to draw nothing. So they have Punch Fire, Titan now. And the Titan won't give them enough mana to also play a Punch and Fire. Alright, that's annoying. bolt that I think. Right. Um, yeah, I think so. so. Since I, if I draw nothing useful, I have to pass the turn back. And then they can just pass the turn with this open and start getting advantage. Yeah. That's interesting. So now I can, or they have enough red mana to punch fire this twice. So they cast, return, cast. If I play the section more witch, basically the same thing happens. They go to one. I don't get an additional pass since I don't for, can't force back. I need to counter the prime yield type. Um, yeah, okay, so if they tap out of their second punishing fire, I might be able to get something going. Though, I, of course, I don't have the bolt anymore now. Something cheap enough to keep it up. I'm gonna cast the arrow now. That's gonna gain him three life. That's a problem. Can bounce it, of course, but then I can gain three life every turn. Um, let me think if I counter. This and then play my brazen borer. They're just gonna fire my borer that just put them into bolt range. Is that good enough? That means they can't target my such more witch anymore. Um, does this also ward against abilities? Yes, it also wards against abilities. I think that gives me the most outs. Just putting them to three here. Oh wait, they don't go to tree. So say, just give me a. Why did I think they went to tree if I did that? 
I'm just gonna do it. But I don't think uh, that was good. I messed up there. And it also just taps for mana. All right, right, right. Sorry, opponent, for taking ages about these turns. So here's the prime time. Let's see what that gets that messes me up. Yes, but I could. I hope they target the uh, witch with one. They shouldn't, of course. So I need a dismember now, I guess. Submerge works. I don't have anything. Menace for to the rescue again, hopefully. Let's just do it now, just in case they have some weird life gain spell. Did I get Apologizing for to my opponent for taking a long time to think about it. Um, all right, so we went four and one. Um, somehow our loss is to Storm, <laughs> despite us being the Flister Storm deck. Grixis Flister Storm should be a, <laughs> a tough matchup for Grixis Flister Storm Delver should be a tough matchup for Storm, but I got utterly crushed by Jax, um, and we won everything two one. Um, not not that convincingly. Uh, let's. Get the deck out here for a second, just to reflect on it. Uh, what did I call it? Grixis Witch Delver. So if I, I, I think the witches were fine, not great. They were clunky a lot. I think in a lot of spots, the young pyromancer would have been better, but the three damage really did add up, and the menace also was really good. Um, yeah, I don't think it's necessarily better than Young Pyromancer. Um, anyway, uh, Fluster Storms, there's a reason that people don't play that many Fluster Storms, or at least not main deck and Legacy anymore. They were bad almost every round, been signing them out the entire time. And these cards were still horrible. Um, I also never got to do the such more witch Fluster Storm thing or anything like that. So I think you can still lean towards Fluster Storm if you have such a more witch in your deck, and that's like, okay, I have one Fluster Storm main, one in my sideboard to have some additional interaction with uh, power with my witches. Uh, other than that, um, I, I had two witches uh, quite a lot of the time, and then I just had to uh, brainstorm one away. So I don't think you want three. I think they're uh, just too clunky to have three. Um, if I were to play something like this again, I think I would uh, definitely trim the Fluster Storms down to one at most, maybe one in the sideboard. Um, I would 100% get rid of the Nymphmakers Elementals, uh, these cards are just unplayable. 
Uh, and let's see. That means we're very low on creatures now, so you're probably gonna add in like uh, one or two young pyromancers, a second brazen borrower. Um, you could consider, I don't know, main warding one of the engineers. Um, it's always good having bolts in the deck as all well, as usual. You just um, so much better with the Delver strategy than other aggressive uh, than other removal um, the island wasn't particularly great it didn't do anything for us and it did make us trip up a couple of times uh, but I don't know if I want to tent fetch either and I don't think it did that much worse than a wasteland would have but I think you could just go with the, the standard Grixis Delver mana base like this um, Especially uh, if you're trimming the flush storms, there's a lot less reason to keep up that one blue through a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, uh, this, this need, the deck would need to get a bit restructured. Um, the, the ID behind the deck at least wasn't good. Uh, the idea was let's try if six more which is good and see how good the Nip Megas is if we're just going heavy on flush storms again. But flush storm wasn't great. Uh, Sagemore Witch was still decent, despite us cutting um, Flush Storm every round, Nifmagus was completely unplayable. Um, I definitely think um, there's value in trying this card a bit more. The Ward Tree Life definitely adds up, um, and it's just very hard to block. It was almost unblockable in a lot of the rounds, or at least very easy to get through. Especially if we add the uh, second Brazen Borrower, it becomes even harder to get through it. Um, so maybe you could try three, but I also like having more borrowers, as I think these five tree drops would be good. And then just having two and two of Angler and Pyromancer as like two drops, or at least cheaper spells, and then the four of Delver. Um, yeah, and then, then because of trimming the Flusterstorms, we get to put in the better counter spells again. So, second thought sees in the Force of Negation. Or something like that, at least. This is probably the main deck how I would have it, and then restructure the sideboard also a bit. I guess we get an initial spot now. Where, well, if I don't think of anything else, I'd just add the third pyroblast and uh, call it a day. But Something like that. So, um, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the league, despite me forgetting to record audio for the first one and a half round or something. And um, we went four and one. Got crushed by Jax, uh, won a lot of close games, uh, definitely didn't play optimal throughout, but uh, it was interesting. So, thanks for joining and uh, see you in the future.